Hey, beloved, Dr. Keenan here live from Israel. I'm on the Mount Megiddo, or as we know it in Christendom, Armageddon. And, um, and across from me is what is known, I want you to see this, this is the Valley of Jezreel, the Jezreel Valley, one of the largest valleys in Israel. And this is where the John, uh, John the Revelator says that the final battle between good and evil will take place. Um, I want to challenge you with something. I want to talk about the power of Passover, but I want to challenge you to do something that the Lord spoke to me, that whatever he says to do, do it. Whatever he says to do, whatever he says to do. One of the challenges that, that we have is that we don't understand the power of divine instruction. When God told the Israelites years ago, as they were in their last day in Egypt, God said, I want you to eat the Passover. I want you to sacrifice the Passover lamb and put, apply his blood to the doorpost. And this was a divine instruction that God gave the Israelites, which preserved them from death. It was the preservation from death. As they placed that blood upon the doorpost, death passed over them, hence the term Passover. You must, you must understand that Jesus is our Passover lamb. He is the one that has caused the spirit of death to pass over us. And the Bible says they were to eat the bread unleavened, not to allow the yeast to rise in the bread, not to allow it, number one, because they had to leave suddenly. And number two, because the yeast represented sin. It represented Egypt. And God said, I don't want you to bring that with you. I'm about to make you a nation. The beginning of months will be today. And so I want to challenge you on this Passover celebration to remember the sacrifice of the lamb. Remember what he did. Remember what his death has provided for us. And as I bless you live from Israel, I challenge you to make a sacrifice. In other words, whatever God tells you to do, just do it. Some people say to me, well, man of God, I need a breakthrough. Whatever God tells you to do, do it. Man of God, I need a miracle. Whatever he tells you to do, do it. Don't hesitate. I was in England and the Lord spoke to me to sow a particular seed. And I thought, man, this is, and it was very substantial. But I did it. And as I did it, something supernatural happened. The things that I had been believing God for, most of which were not financial. They were immaterial. They weren't physical. They weren't financial things. They had to do with spiritual things. They had to do with, with turnaround in my life and ministry. It had to do with overcoming spiritual opposition. It had to do with overcoming accusations. And so I sowed a battle seed. I told God, this is my battle seed. And I sow it in faith. And something shifted in the atmosphere. But what I'm telling you to do is to do whatever God tells you to do. Whatever he tells you to do. Whatever he tells you to do. One of the things you need to do on Passover is you need to forgive. Forgive those who have wronged you. Forgive those who have hurt you. Forgive those who have disappointed you. Let it go. The root word of forgive is give. The Bible says it's more blessed to give than to receive. So you're giving. Don't worry about the other person. Don't worry about the circumstance. Worry about your response, which is to give. So for give. I want to bless you on this Passover and Shalom from Israel.